Welcome <clears throat> to part one of application refrigeration systems. And here you have your oil distribu distribu distribution system. And sophisticated oil systems are designed to maintain a certain amount of oil in the compressor and parallel systems. And oil had, the oil system has four major components. The oil separator, oil reservoir, pressure difference valve, differential valve and the oil level regulators. And here we have large oil separators are located in discharge lines to tap pumped oil. And if oil isn't returned from the oil separator to the compressors, but in conventional system, it is pumped by the pressure to an oil reservoir. And the oil separators are combined into one vessel. <clears throat> and the reservoir is, well, it passes oil <clears throat> Reservoir oil passes to oil the oil regulator float, which is mounted on the compressor at its slight glass location. The regulator valve is going to the float valve, which sends the crankcase oil levels, and it opens and closes to ensure that adequate oil levels are in the compressor crankcase. And the pressure differential valve is located on the oil reservoir which maintains 5 to 20 psi pressure differential valve <clears throat> and this is used and vented to the suction line and this valve ensures the oil reservoir that it is pressurized each time an oil reservoir opens and obviously you have a factory here which the factory pressure settings is a system dependent which allows the oil level to regulate and it's going to overfill before the float valve reacts and obviously you have your combination oil separator and oil reservoir and a compressor float operated level of regulator <clears throat> and this is an oil level regulator which can be fixed or adjusted and it can is purely mechanical or electromechanical and electromechanical valves use a liquid level switch and a solenoid valve and a magnetic reed which floats which reed floats which which detects oil levels and these systems have a alarm and the system shut down control if the level gets too high or low and some electromechanical liquid level switches detect oil level by having by having a sensing light refracting through the glass prism and an advantage is that they can they are mounted on a system without disturbing the system internally. That's it and have a I'll see you in the next one.